Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that uh, motor that uh, I featured last night had the broken stud on it. And uh, I didn't have any wheels for it. I had front wheels. I didn't have any rear wheels. So what I have done is taken two front wheels and drilled them and put a screw in them so I could put push rods on them. It's an expedient. It works. Um... Fairly simple, easy to do, straightforward. I just drilled a hole, tapped it six, uh, 832, and uh, was going to put 832 screws in it. And then I discovered that the uh, sheet metal screws I had actually fit that hole perfectly. So a small drop of epoxy and two sheet metal screws. And as you see, we have an assembled pre-war motor. Now this is completely made out of junk. If you look up Junk Mark's Motor in the dictionary, there's a picture of me holding this. So, made completely out of junk parts. And, uh, like I said, that stud is broken off that holds the uh, front crossbar. So, there's a repair you can do. Basically, just put this in a vise and uh, solder it. Just clean up the uh, stub of that stud with a file. Clean out the hole. Make sure it's uh, cinched down good and tight, and you can solder the motor side plate directly to the crossbar. There's really no reason to ever replace these. Uh, this one, of course, had been completely trashed before it uh, came to me. As you can see, it's all bent up. Someone pried the wheels off of it. Anyway, it's up and running, so I just want to do a quick video on a really simple expedient to be able to turn front wheels into rear wheels just uh, drill a hole, use a screw, and mount a push rod. So I went through the uh, bodies I had. I've got this uh, 490 shell cracked on the corner, like so many of them are. I probably have four or five of these under the bench. Anyway, I just thought I'd drop this motor in here and uh, put this uh, on the rail and run it and see how it actually runs with these new wheels. So line this up let me find my screws uh where did my screws go hmm where did my screws go there they are all right so line this up put the screw in this side now like i said this is made completely out of junk I mean, bottom of the barrel junk. And uh, since I didn't have any wheels for it, there was really not much I could do with it. And I thought, why not modify a pair of front wheels? I had, I don't know, probably 10 front wheels. Anyway, as you see, it's up and running. Side rods, uh, old uh, beat to death Mark's motor. Anyway, let's pull this uh, camera off the tripod. Put this on the rail. I'll put it on the Lionel rail. This is, I can't remember, 12 cars, I think. Anyway, so the Mark's pre-war motor that was just absolutely destroyed. All right, power is on. Let's take this around and see how it runs. As you see, So far from perfect, but it's a running locomotive. A good running motor, actually. So I'll just leave it in this uh, old 490 shell until I have a use for this motor. Made completely out of junk parts. So I took uh, two front wheels and drilled them to turn them into uh, rear wheels so I could uh, mount those push rods. It's far from perfect. The thing is, though, it works. It's running made completely out of junk parts. So I just want to do a quick follow-up video. Like I said, I posted the video on this uh, motor last night lamenting the fact that I didn't have any wheels for it. So I went through all the wheels I had. I had nothing but front wheels. So I figured I'd just uh, take the uh, two front wheels, drill them, and turn them into rear wheels. As you see. Anyway, they're not the same color. They're uh, not matching wheels, but they're wheels. That's the important part. And this old locomotive 
which was nothing but junk, is up and running, as you see. It's pulling a lot of weight. And pulling it with no problem at all. That's about, I don't know, 30% power. Let's take it up to 40%. All right, there's about 40% power. As you see, that's more than fast enough. So it's actually a pretty zippy little uh, locomotive. It's pretty quick. Anyway, just a quick video. As I always stress, don't overlook the junk. You know, this was made out of trash, and that's really all you can say about it. This motor was just absolute junk. So uh, anyway, didn't have the wheels for it, so I just made a pair. And like I said, just drilled a hole and uh, mounted the push rod with a screw. So it's far from perfect. It's made completely out of trash parts, but it's up and running. And it's running well enough that if a, a decent locomotive came in that needed a motor, perfect uh, motor to use. Runs forward only, but as you see, that runs really, really well. Pulling a heavy consist with no problem at all. So it's really simple. It's an expedient, of course, to uh, drill those wheels so you can add push rods. But it works. That's the important thing about it. It actually works quite well, as you see. That's running at a good constant speed all the way around at about 30% power. So, I've got to say it again, don't overlook the junk. Took about, uh, I don't know, probably half an hour to assemble this, something like that. Had to pull the axles off the wheel, and then uh, drill the wheel, tap the wheel, and I finally, I finally wound up using uh, sheet metal screws, so didn't even have to bother tapping them, actually. But it works, it's simple, it only takes a minute. A drill press, you could do it with a hand drill if you're careful. But like I said, it's really simple. It's an expedient, but the best part, of course, is the fact that it works. And it gives you a running locomotive with push rods where you didn't have one before. And I just, I was completely out of rear wheels. So I'll be modifying a couple uh, to uh, just use for part to... Uh, motors as they come in. Anyway, just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrain at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.